In this video, we're going to describe how bit patterns may represent other forms of data, including graphics and sound. So, this is a great question to ask. What exactly is 01100110? Well, to a computer, it's nothing more than a changing electrical signal. In a crude abstract example here, we can think of the zeros and ones as being an electrical current, which is either low or high. As it reads the changing current, it translates those into zeros and ones. But what exactly is that pattern of zeros and ones? The answer is it's impossible to tell until we know how the data is being interpreted. You can't simply intercept a string of zeros and ones flying down some electrical cable and know, for example, that it's a credit card number or someone's password. Until you know how to interpret that data, it's simply meaningless. For example, if we fed the electrical signal 01100110 and passed it through the ASCII character coding set, out would pop the lower case letter F. But the exact same string of numbers, interpreted as a signed binary integer in two's complement, is positive 102. Exactly the same signal, trans, uh, translated as an 8-bit normalised floating point number, where the first four bits are the mantissa and the last are the exponent, would now be 48. We don't simply just to have to have text and numbers. If we threw the 8 bits into a black and white image, which used one byte to store each pixel, then that string of ones and zeros would pop out as a single pixel of black or white colour. If we threw it into a typical 24-bit colour image translator, we would end up with a value for the green, red or blue hue for that single pixel. The bottom line is, bit patterns are just that. They're patterns of data. They're electrical signals. They can mean many different things depending on how they're interpreted. 